talking with Holly Corey from Burien. She's going to do a sweet potato and pear gratin. I'm not, even, I'm not even going to get into the gratin here. We're going to let you go with the, the sweet potato and the pear. I've never heard of the combination, but it sounds great. It is. It's very good. I cooked very it fun. at uh, Thanksgiving a couple years ago with uh, really rave reviews. Um, the sweet potato is uh, the first ingredient, and we take it and peel it. Okay. Boy, I bet this would be great served with ham or pork chops or anything. It's kind of very yeah. versatile. Roast chicken would be wonderful. And um, then you're going to, oops. That's all right. We're going to slice it. Okay. I take off the end because it's, uh, we really don't need that. And about a uh, quarter of an inch round slices. Okay. And use a big knife when you do this. These are hard, really kind of hard to cut. They're, it's, it's, a, it's a very strong vegetable. Right? And uh, basically that's what we're going to do with the pear and, the, and there, the potato. And then the pear is, um, I found the easiest way to do it is take the top off turn it over, and then core it. You want your pear ripe, but yes. not too ripe. Right, not mushy, but yeah. just soft, a little bit soft. Is that a particular a kind of pear, or any this, pear? You can use any kind. This is actually a Bosch. Okay. And um, they, I've been told that it's very good for um, cooking. It is. It certainly it's, is it's nice and good. juicy. Bartlett's yeah. are nice, too, but they, yes. si they tend to be sometimes a little bit too mushy. So. And then all you do is peel this, okay. same way you do the potato. And then you're going to cut that in slices. Okay, we'll cut this one in slices the same way. How did you come up with this recipe? Um, I actually got it from a magazine about four years ago uh -huh. and um, just changed a few ingredients in it and put kind of own spin to on my it. own taste. Your own twist on it. Yeah. Excellent. Very Excellent. good. And so that's kind of what you're going to do okay. with the ingredients. Then to assemble it, um, you take a, a one and a half quart pot and take some butter. Just kind of butter the dish. So any kind of nice, because you're going to probably serve it in this too. Yes, you can serve yeah. it in this too. Have you ever made little individual ones? No, I haven't. That would be kind That's of fun. That's a, a really yeah. good idea. And then you just alternate the layers of the pears and the uh, potato. So kind potato, a pear, thing. potato, a right, pear, right. overlapping. What a fun dish. It is, and it's yeah. quick and easy, and you can pop it in the oven, forget about it, and go you know, to your next you know, preparation, your salad or your turkey or whatever else. I bet you can else do this with apples too. Sure. That'd be fun. You know, these are just such great basic recipes mm -hmm. for everybody at home that they can just take these and, you know, do their own little twist just like you did yep. on it. And then uh, we'll take half the butter and just kind of lay it in there. Dot it on. Take some blue cheese. And you can you buy it in the store in a brick kind of like this, mm -hmm. and I just crumbled it. I'm going to put some of that. Well, think of the different tastes that are getting into this dish right. all of a sudden. Nice. Nice uh, Northwest Oregon blue cheese. Would be and really then great. Um, we take the salt and pepper, and you use half of Look half the salt. Yeah, this is kind of a well, nifty little deal. Cool. It really and is. Turn it uh, this the other direction if I can get it to move. <laughs> hmm. My hands are too slippery. Anyway, and then the other side is the pepper, mm -hmm. ground pepper. Mm -hmm. And then we just put some fresh thyme into it. So just some little off the stem. Yeah, just mm -hmm. nice. Little sprigs here and Rosemary there. Rosemary would be good too. You can almost kind of adapt it any way you want to mm -hmm. your taste buds whatever, really. Whatever your taste, yeah. yeah. Whatever and there's, your family likes. And there's so many different kinds of blue cheeses that you can use too with if you some like them with you know not as much tartness, others, you know, that are um, gorgonzola, mm -hmm. camazola. And then what you can do is just put another layer on top of, on the, top of this. And the blue cheese mm -hmm. and, and the salt and, and the pepper. And start again. Nice. So how many layers do you usually end up doing? Two. Two? Two. Two. Yeah. And unless you, you can do three if you've got a bigger dish mm -hmm. and double the recipe. I've done that before. And these are the sweet potatoes, but you can also use yams. Oh, that'd in be it. pretty too. Mm -hmm. That's a Give nice you a little bit more color. Contrast. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. Fun, fun that's recipe. going to be an interesting taste, you yeah, know, and with yeah. everything that's in there, that's going to be fun. Yeah, and it's a, it's a really it's a nice fragrance throughout the house and cooking in the kitchen. And we so have a little one. more butter on top, a little more blue cheese yep. on top. We have one in the oven too that I'm going to grab. All right. It's been baking. About how long would you cook that in the oven? Um, it you need to cover it with foil for the first 30 minutes at 400 degrees, and 
then you will um, uncover it and cook it for another 25, 20 to 25 minutes. Oh, wow. At 400. Does this look at good? 400. That's a hot oven. Nice. Look at that. Oh. 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 Wow. Did that cook up well or did that cook up and well? And I see you've done a very, very pretty yes, I do air a little, fan on top. Do you like little... a spoon there, ma'am? Yes, thank you. I can't wait to taste this. I want to get a little pear and Yeah, you want to get a little pear and a little potato yeah. together. a little potato. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm. That's really good. That is good. That is really good. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank you.